you ever scroll online and think to yourself, I know I could be making money selling something digital, but I have no clue where to start. Maybe you've tried brainstorming your ideas, dabbling with ChatGPT, or maybe you've even played around with Canva, but it just all feels too much. Too many tools, too many options, and too many voices telling you different things, and still no product. I get it, it's frustrating. So in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through the easiest way to create and sell your own ebook using AI. Now, you don't need to be a writer, you don't need to be a designer, and you don't even need to be techie. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to turn your ideas into a professional looking digital product that you can then sell online. Sweet. Now that said, yes, one way you can make money with an ebook is to sell it, but there are also other ways too. For example, you can give it away as a free lead magnet in order to build an email list and then sell your other products or affiliate products or both via your email list, which is something I do quite a lot. Or you can also use ebooks as bonuses to incentivize the sale of other products. So they're a great asset to have and well worth creating. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, how do you come up with a profitable ebook idea that people actually want to buy? Well, let me help you to uncover the hidden demand before you even write a single word. So now we're going to start with something that most people get completely wrong, which is choosing your ebook topic. Now, this part really matters because if no one wants what you're actually writing about, then it doesn't matter how polished your ebook is, it's just not going to sell. So, first things first, don't just chase what looks profitable. First, start by thinking about what you actually enjoy or things you know a lot about. Now, this is important because when you hit a roadblock, and trust me, you most likely will, it'll be way easier to push through if you actually care about the topic or you know a lot about it. So, with that said, we're first now going to bring in AI to help us get started. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT. I quite like using ChatGPT for this because it's really good for research, or you can also use DeepSeek also be good for this. But if you're at the point you don't know what to write about or you don't even have a niche in mind yet, just to get you started, you can choose a niche you have interest in. And for me, for this example, I'm going to choose personal development because that is actually something I'm genuinely interested in. And you can start off by asking a prompt like this. Give me a list of evergreen topics in a personal development niche that I can write an ebook about. Don't give me ebook titles, only topics and sub-niches at this stage. And now ChatGBT will start to write out some sub-niches within the personal development space and then give us some ideas within each of those sub-niches. So this is a great starting point and helps to get our brain moving in the right direction. So here are some sub niches and some topic ideas within each sub niche that ChatGPT has come up with. So it's come up with quite a few. Now, if you don't like any of those and you can just ask ChatGPT to give you more or suggest even more sub niches for you within personal development and then keep drilling down. And then once you've found a topic that you like from the list that you've come up with here with ChatGPT, quite like this topic right here, becoming less reactive in difficult conversations. What we need to do now is we need to validate our topic to make sure that books are actually selling on this topic. But in order for us to know if the books are actually selling in Amazon, we need to come to Google and install this free Google Chrome extension right here called DS Amazon Quick View. And I've left a link in the description below this video to this page right here so you can install this Chrome extension for free. Now that installed we're going to go head over to Amazon.com and the reason we're using Amazon is of course that most books worldwide are sold via Amazon so it just makes sense to check the Amazon marketplace. So I'm going to throw our topic idea in the search bar and look at the books that come up. So now of course we'll see a list of the books on this topic on the Amazon marketplace but because we have that Chrome extension installed we now have this extra information right here and it shows us this number which is the important number we're looking for which is the Amazon bestseller rank. So this particular book is 32,800, which is great. Ideally, the lower the number, the better. The lower the number, the more the book's being sold and the more frequently it's been sold. And when we're looking for this, we want to make sure the books are being sold in our topic. There's multiple of them that have a bestseller rank of 80,000 or less, which means they're selling a decent amount. So this book on difficult conversations, 32,000. Next book, Master Your Emotions, 1,500. Then we have this one here, Four Essential Keys to Effective Communication in Love, 19,000, and so on. We can see there are several here's another one that's under the 80,000 mark. So it shows that this topic is a topic that people are buying books on. Okay, so now back in ChatGPT. So if our topic's not too broad, then we can continue working with ChatGPT to create the outline of our book. However, if it is too broad, then we can ask Chat to further break our topic down into more sub-niches if you want to get even more specific. For example, you can then ask it something like this. I like this idea. Can you suggest more sub-niche ideas within this topic? And then ChatGPT is now going to break that topic down into further sub-niches. Now, at this point, it's important to bear in mind that for the most part, people buy stuff because they have a problem to solve. So rather than just writing your ebook on a topic because you're interested in it, think about what problems people have in that space that they're looking to solve. And then position your book as the answer to those problems and helping the person to solve that problem with your book. That way it will speak directly to the people looking for that solution and make your book much more attractive. So again, we can ask ChatGPT to help us with this. But now looking through our list here, we've got a lot of great topics, but not all of these I don't think will be as good to write an ebook about. For example, this one, why we get triggered the neuroscience primary activity. Sounds like a good topic, but it's not problem solution based. It's more like an inquiry. So we're looking for something that's more problem solution based, like how to or where a person's actually inquiring about solving your problem. And if there isn't enough of those ideas, we can just ask 
Snapchat to provide more problem solution based ebook topics on this sub niche. However, I quite like this sound of this one right here. How to train your nervous system to stay open under pressure. So let's go with this. We then go back to Amazon to check the bestseller rating, but just to save time for this video. Don't waste your time. Just an example for you guys. Let's just say this is a great topic to go for. I'm going to create our ebook around it. Okay, now with that in mind, let's get ChatGPT to help us create a problem solution based title for our ebook and also an outline too. Okay, so now back in ChatGPT and we can ask it a prompt like this. I like this idea for our book and here's the idea. Please create 10 catchy problem solution based titles for our book. And then of course, ChatGPT is now going to come up with different title ideas and subtitles. And we can go through and choose one we like or tweak or keep getting chat to refine and drill down until we find one we like. Now, as I said earlier, ChatGPT is great for research. So that's why we're using it. But when it comes to actually writing the ebook, we're going to first write our first draft with Claude because Claude does better writing than ChatGPT. But before we do that, let's get chat to create our outline for our book first. Now that I first told ChatGPT the title and the subtitle I liked, followed by this prompt. Now please create a 10 chapter outline for this book and make sure the book covers the biggest four to five problems that the reader will have and be looking to solve from buying our book. Our book will aim to solve these problems. And then right here, ChatGPT has come up with the five biggest problems that our reader will be facing. And then Chat's created a 10 chapter outline for our topic that's problem solution focused and device solutions to those problems. Now, of course, this is just a draft. So at this point, you have to go through your chapters and delete any chapters you don't want in there and put in new chapters that you'd rather talk about. And similarly, when we come to write the content with Claude, that's just going to be the first draft. You're not going to publish as is. You're going to have to first go through it, fact check everything, and then rewrite sections with your own knowledge, and your own content and experiences. So that way, AI can be the amazing tool to help you speed up the process and produce a really high quality piece of work that is essentially your own. Now, when it comes to creating the first draft of your ebook in Claude AI, I recommend that you ask Claude to write your ebook chapter by chapter rather than giving Claude all the chapters at once and asking it to create the whole ebook in one go. If you take just a little bit more time and ask it to do chapter by chapter, it will do generally a much better job and you'll have much more control over the creation process. Now, once you've got your content created and you've edited it and you're happy with it, we're going to copy and paste that into Google Docs and then we're going to move on to the third AI tool we're going to be using. This tool is absolutely awesome and it's essentially going to help us to package our ebook, help us to create a nice font color and a professional internal layout and all formatted correctly. So wait till you see what this AI tool can do. It's pretty awesome. Now this AI tool is called Designer and it's absolutely awesome for creating ebooks. I've been using it myself in my business for the last few years and you can use it in lots of different ways to create ebooks. For example, you can turn your blog posts into ebooks with just a few clicks. You can also use it to transcribe podcasts and YouTube videos into ebooks. It also has a built-in AI writing tool that will write the whole content of your ebook for you if you want to go down that route. However, that said, the process I've just shown you with using ChatGPT and Claude will produce a far better quality of content, which is why I've shown you that. So then that way, if you've written your own content yourself or you've just followed my previous method you can also import your content into designer and use designers features to quickly and easily put your whole content together package it up into a really professional looking ebook the professional cover and professional internal layout and depending on what plan you're on design also has a built-in tool to turn your ebooks into audiobooks as well which is awesome so that'll give you an additional product to sell or to use as a bonus now as you probably imagine a tool like this isn't free and it comes with monthly pricing plan starting at 29 dollars per month however i have a unique link that will give you lifetime access to this standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. So I've left that link in the description below this video. So when you click that link, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. If you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll then see a section right here where you can get lifetime access to the standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. And this plan will enable you to create an unlimited amount of eBooks following the process I've just shown you. If you're creating the content yourself or if you're creating the content with AI and Claude, for example, like I've just shown you, that way you'll be able to create an unlimited amount of eBooks. Designers AI writing tool, which is where Genie. And this will allow you to create up to about four to five ebooks using Word Genie. And then if you want to keep using that, you can just pay for additional credits, which are $17, which will give you enough to be able to create a further four or five ebooks. However, if you're writing the content yourself or following the process I've just shown you, you don't need to use that. You just pay $27 one time. You can create as many ebooks as you like without having to pay any more. And you can also import blog posts and turn them into ebooks as well if you wanted to. And publish your books as animated flipbooks or PDF ebook guides, all in this lifetime plan. So if you're serious about creating ebooks, then this still is an absolute no-brainer in my opinion. And link is in description below this video. Now as an alternative, some people do use Canva to create their ebooks. Now I'm not knocking Canva or anything. Canva is an awesome tool and I do personally use Canva Pro in my business pretty much every day. But to create ebooks with it, like an entire ebook would take a ton of time. Now Canva is excellent for creating front covers for ebooks. But if you want to create the whole ebook and all the internal pages inside of Canva, you've got to copy and paste every paragraph manually, paragraph by paragraph, and then line them all up. It takes a long, long time. Now it's fine if you're just creating like a two or three page ebook and you want to do that. But anything longer than that, it's just going to take a lot of work and design will do that for you in minutes. So of course up to you. My personal opinion is design is no brainer for ebook creation. 
Okay, now let me show you how quick and easy it is to create a professional looking ebook in Designer. Okay, so once you're in Designer, you'll see a dashboard looks something like this. You can click here to create your new ebook or click here if you're going to create an audiobook. So, of course, we're creating our ebook. I'm going to click right here. And now Designer is asking us what format we want to publish the ebook in. So, from the drop down, I'm going to select PDF. And now here, Designer is asking us what we want to use as our baseline. And from the options we have, besides using Designer's AI writing tool, which is where Genie to write the ebook for you, other options is we can import it from Word or Google Docs or transcribe a YouTube video or podcast into an ebook or import from a blog post, import from PDF or import from some other type of video. So since we wrote our content with the help of ChatGPT and Claude and we saved that content in Google Docs, I'm going to of course select Google Docs. And now here we're going to paste the link for our Google Doc right here. So now let's quickly jump back into Google Drive and I'll show you how to get the link for our Google Doc and how to make it shareable so then designer can import our content. So here we are in my Google Drive account and here's our document and need to click on these little dots in the top right corner and then come down to share. And now before we click copy link, first of all, we have to make this document shareable. So click on share and now here by default general access will be restricted. So you need to click the drop down, change this to anyone with a link. And now you can copy this link right here, go back to designer and we can paste this link in. And now designer will be able to read our content and import it into designer. And just like that, designer's already recognized that our books in the self-development niche. Let's go to the next button. And now here designer has pulled our content into an editor right here. So before designer puts this content into the format, we've got a chance to edit it, change anything we want to change, add more content, delete anything. But bear in mind, we can also do that later at any stage in Designer. Even once you've published your ebook, you can always go back and make more edits later. So that's really not an issue. So let's say we're happy with it. We're going to go to the next button up here at the top right, which is choose a template. So now Designer is going to give us lots of different options for ebook templates for us to choose from. And there's hundreds in here in Designer. So some of them are pretty decent. Others are a little bit boring in my opinion. But generally, for the most part, you should find something that you like. So bear in mind, this is the front cover we're talking about, first of all. And if you really don't find anything you like, which sometimes I don't, in that case, I just design a cover in Canva and then import that cover into designer after so you can always do that if you want to so it's very very flexible now before we choose our cover and our template we've also got this option right here where we can choose the layout inside the ebook for example if you want a standard layout or a two column layout and so on i'm just gonna go with the standard layout and when we click on any of these options designer will show us also what the internal pages look like too so i found a template i quite like and it's got lots of nice internal page layout options as well right here so let's just go with this one so click on use this template and now designer is going to import our content into this template into an editor where we can and then further customize our ebook. Now here we are in Designer's Editor and Designer's pulled our title and our subtitle into the cover. And of course you can completely change this cover as I said earlier. You can either make changes and re-edit this cover or you can upload a completely new cover if you prefer. Then you'll have an interactive table of contents. So I'm just using part of a content. This example just for speed. But if this was the full book then we'd see all the chapters listed here. And then when the ebook's published this will be interactive. So your users will be able to click any of the chapters and jump to that section which is pretty cool. And scrolling through we can see the stylized design of the internal pages. And again any of these you can delete or change them as as you wish add more content and then in the elements section on the left hand side you've got lots of different elements that you can drag and drop in here if for example you wanted to add images or embed videos qr codes call to actions lists questions checklists or you can even use designer's word genie prompt right here to write more content into your ebook for you too and then when you're happy with your ebook you can click publish down here in the bottom left and now designer will give you multiple options on where and how you want to publish your ebook for example if you want it to pdf download download it to your computer or publish it directly to kindle turn it into an interactive flip book live book and epub or even then turn it into an audiobook too i'm just going to publish this for now as a pdf click on export and Zion just takes a few minutes to then publish our ebook and then once your ebook's ready you can download it as a pdf file to your computer or open it as a flipbook which would look something like this it's pretty nice and then back in your design dashboard you can come to your ebook right here come to the dots menu and you can also create with a couple of clicks a 3d mock-up cover of your ebook so i'm going to choose this design right here all i need to do is click on it and in a couple of seconds, Zion has created our 3D mock-up cover so you can professionally display your ebook for sale on your website. Click download and that design is downloaded to your computer. Okay, so now your ebook's ready to go, but how can you actually sell it? Well, let me show you a few different options. Now, the first place to publish your ebook is, of course, Amazon. Now, Amazon sells more ebooks worldwide than any other platform, so it definitely makes sense to list your ebook here. However, bear in mind Amazon's content guidelines, they do have rules around AI content and they make a distinction right here between AI generated and AI assisted content. Basically, they don't allow ebooks to have been solely created by AI, but they do allow the author to use AI to assist in the creation of your content. So very important to familiarize yourself with this first before you get started creating your ebook, just so you know exactly what you can and can't do. I've left a link in the description below this video to Amazon's content guidelines right here. It's only a short page. Take a few minutes just to read this before you get started creating your ebook. And when it comes to listing and selling your ebook on Amazon, Amazon will make the 
sales for you and then pay you royalties, which will be either 35 or 70% of the book sales, depending on the type of book you're selling and the price. I've also left a link to this page right here. That's in the description below this video. So you can familiarize yourself with Amazon's list price requirements and then know what to expect. The second place to sell your ebook is Barnes & Noble. Now Barnes & Noble also sell lots and lots of ebooks and they have lots of different categories under which you can publish your ebooks too. Now similar to Amazon, Barnes & Noble also has an AI content policy where they distinguish between AI assisted or an AI created content. So please familiarize yourself with this before you create your content. It's only a short bit of information, but I'll leave a link again in the description below this video just so you know exactly what's what before you create your ebook. And then when it comes to listing and selling your ebook on Barnes & Noble, Barnes & Noble will make all the sales for you and then pay you 70% of the royalties of all your books sold. Now, of course, there's no guarantee that you'll make sales just by listing your ebook on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, but of course, you're going to need to get your ebook out there in order to get started, and they're two of the best places to do that. And the third option is to build your own audience via platforms like Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and so on. Build an email list and then sell your ebooks yourself to your audience via your email list. And to do that, you'd need to use a software tool like Kartra here, where you can build a simple sales funnel to collect leads, build your email list, and sell your ebooks. Kartra's pricing starts at $59 per month if you're paying monthly, or $52 per month if you're paying yearly. And this will allow you to build landing pages, sales funnels, build your email list, even host a course, and lots more all in one platform. And you can get a 30 day free trial plus 30% discount via a link in the description below this video. Or if you're on a tighter budget, then you can use this platform right here called System.io, which does a similar thing to Kartra, but it also has a free plan to get you started. And you can use System.io to build landing pages, sales funnels, build an email list up to 2,000 subscribers, build a website, and take the payments for your sales of your ebook, just like Kartra. And this is a very decent platform. It's pretty solid. It's just not as advanced as a platform like Kartra. It doesn't have as many powerful automation features, but it's still really solid and link is in the description to the free plan if you want to get started with System.io. Now watch this video here next, and I'll show you step-by-step -step exactly how to build a sales funnel specifically to sell an ebook.